What it is, welcome back to the channel. I'm Neo Ness, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is your source for all things video games and Neo Geo. First off, let me start with last week's episode. We left on a cliffhanger. Many of you voiced your opinions on you didn't like the cliffhanger. Apologies. For many of the subscribers on the channel, they've become accustomed to the cliffhangers with Mission Neo Geo. Mission Neo Geo, for those of you that are first time viewers, is a show or is a series where we discuss one Neo Geo game on the AES. We go over the gameplay footage, we go over the history of the game, we even go over market pricing and where you can find this game and then how you can add this to your collection, how to spot fakes, etc. Tiberius is the co-host on that show, my counterpart, who also helps me during that process of the video. For many of you, you met him at the tail end of the video. So, my apologies for leaving you on a cliffhanger. Many of you have voiced the opinion that you don't like cliffhangers. And for those of you that have been longtime viewers of the channel, you completely understand and you are willing to wait. So I appreciate you on that. For those of you that said, hey, this isn't the channel for you, all good, no sweat. Not a problem at all. I'm happy that you stopped by for the one episode. Apologies if it wasn't what you were in for. Now, with that, let's get into it. All right, so let's start here. What was the one game that I sold 70% of my collection for? It is a Neo Geo game. It is a English version of this game. So, let's go check it out. I'm headed to go get the game right now from my Neo Geo plug here in Dallas. All right, so I'm here meeting, waiting, meeting my Neo Geo collector. He doesn't like being on camera, so we're waiting in the, I'm waiting in the parking lot for um, him to show up. Oh, there he is. All right, we have it. We have the game here. It is finally here. Double Dragon. Yes, we have it. It is legit authentic all the way. We have Double Dragon added to the collection. We have a Double Dragon on the Neo Geo AES. Many of you in the comments had said Metal Slug 1, Neo Turf Masters. You threw out numerous names out there and many of you had some good guesses. And while your guesses were great, let me stop you right here. Generally, the market pricing for Metal Slug 1 and Neo Turf Masters is much higher than what I sold my collection for. So for many of you that said, hey, I, I couldn't do it. You got the money for your game. This is what the game is worth. However, the 70% of my game collection was disc-based games, and a large portion of that was Xbox. And for those of you that don't know, Xbox games do not have a very high, <laughs> a very high market price in terms of reselling. Now, in the recent, in the past year or so, we've seen a spike in 360 games, but that's just not enough to cover. And that's why we ended up selling, or I ended up selling, the remaining portion of my PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, some Nintendo 64, some Sega Genesis, and some NES and Super NES games. Now, since I've sold that collection, I have started to reacquire certain games on the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Nintendo 64. And I'm looking for more clean copies of these games. Some of them I've already reacquired, Others are still on my list and I'm not in a big rush to grab those, but we'll get through it. So let's go through the game. All right. So we have Double Dragon in an acrylic case here. So let's go ahead and open this up. And shout out to Kaiser, Kaiser Casing. 
nice acrylic cases here. I've picked a couple of these up from the Neo store. So for those of you that are interested in acrylic cases for the Neo Geo, check them out. So the spine is in really good shape. No discoloring on the game itself. Now, there is a little bit of a crease somewhere right here down the middle, but that's about it. And then there's a little bit of a corner. If you see, let me see if I can zoom in there. Just a little bit of whitening right there in the corner. But other than that, this game is extra clean, extra clean. So when I had the opportunity for it, I picked it up. So we have the baggie and the manual. I like the artwork on this. You'll see the same, very similar artwork here on the Japanese version. The manual. Point moves. It's in really good shape. So it's fairly easy. And if we look at the cart here, the cart is in really good shape here. And forgive my fingerprints there, but overall the cart is in excellent condition. I have played it. I have uh, completed this game. I have beaten it already. Uh, the first day I got it. So I've, I love Double Dragon. This is an awesome game. In terms of the inside of the box, no cracks or breakage on the inside. So that's in really good shape there. The cart sticker is in really good shape as well. Let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. Really nice shape on this. Zooming out there. Hundred and seventy-eight megs. I love that double dragon emblem. I mean, just the, the spine here just pops. Pops on the shelf. It is awesome. Super happy to have this in the collection. All right, so let's recap. We sold 70% of the collection. That totaled roughly $30,000 plus. Now we trim that down. So $30,000 and then we kept a couple of titles, miscellaneous things, and that brought our grand total down to roughly $20,000 with price charting. So that was the average for all the games that I had. 32% of my games were worth under $25. So take that to note. So when I was negotiating with the reseller, we settled roughly on 55%. So 55%, that gives us roughly $12,000 and some change to work with. So $12,000, I applied that money towards Double Dragon, and then the remaining money I used for something else. Now, I did have an opportunity to acquire another game, which I currently don't have yet, but it's on the way, and that is also a Neo Geo game as well on the AES. So that will bring our grand total of English titles needed to complete the set minus two down to 10 games left. So 10 games left that we have on the collection and we're done. Now I have subtracted Kazuna Encounter and Ultimate Eleven. Now a soccer game and a fighting game. Why did I remove these? Well, due to the fact that these games are extremely hard to come by in an English version, they're readily available in a Japanese version and I might go after those in the future, I don't know. But as it sits right now, I'm primarily focused on the English set. So English set does not necessarily mean that they were brought over to the US. Double Dragon is an example of that. Now, mind you, Double Dragon was a game loosely based on the 90s movie Double Dragon that came out. Wasn't the greatest of films. The legend of the Double Dragon. Hey, 
Hey, Broomhead! We're gonna sweep the floor with your skull! But you actually see bits and clips of that movie inside of this game, which is actually really cool. However, because this game didn't get a release in the US, it was primarily seen in the, in the UK. So because of that, it has become extremely hard for US buyers to find this game unless they're sourcing it from overseas. What are you going to do now? So take that to note. And this is the reason why this is one of those rare titles. There are a handful of Neo Geo AES games that did get a English version. However, they did not get a shipment to the US. I already have this game on Neo Geo CD and MVS. I actually like this game. I like the gameplay. The fighting mechanics isn't too hard to learn and understand. And it's got a couple of secret characters as well, two boss characters. Now, a majority of the characters that you see in this game, some of them are or were in the movie, and of course the artwork and the changing of the character designs aren't roughly translated like the movie, something like you would see on Street Fighter the movie. You don't see that in this particular case. Now you do see the appearance of those characters in this game, but their art designs were completely different. So we have that. Double Dragon. It is a great fighting game. I recommend it in terms of gameplay. So if you're one of those that doesn't want to drop the kind of money that I'm dropping on this particular game, I highly recommend that you try it, emulate it. Or if you're interested and you have access to an MVS, MVS carts generally run somewhere between 80 and 150 bucks. So it's nothing super crazy. And then in terms of getting this game on Neo Geo CD, you can roughly find this game somewhere between 50 and $100. So it's not super expensive there either. It just depends on the condition. Now, when it comes to the AES, of course, this game ranges in the English version somewhere in the realm of six to $16,000. That's a huge range. So you, I'll let you all speculate. I'm not gonna give you the exact number. You understand based off of what I spent, you know what, you know what it is. So it is what it is. Now for a Japanese version of this game, it is going to be a little bit cheaper. Mind you, you have to be careful. If you're looking on eBay and you want to grab this game, be on the lookout. There's a lot of conversions. There's a lot of repro versions. And generally those games sit somewhere around 175 to 200 bucks. That is a dead giveaway. And generally they don't come with a manual. They come with the MVS marquee. If you're looking for an authentic Japanese version of this game, be prepared to pay somewhere between 450 and a thousand bucks, give or take, depending on who you're buying from on eBay. Generally, if you're buying this from overseas in Japan, some of the stores have priced some of these games a little bit higher over the last couple of years. And of course, Double Dragon has spiked in price compared to what it was a couple of years ago. So there's that but you can still get lucky and probably find this game roughly between four and 600 bucks if you're lucky. And if you're wanting something super mint, well, you'll just have to negotiate with a private seller if that's the way you're going. Or if the seller on eBay has an offer up, try to offer and see if you can negotiate the price from there. So what are your thoughts? Was Double Dragon worth it for me? Yes, it was. I love this game. I'm happy. I don't have any reservations behind me selling my, you know, 75% of my collection. And I'm going to give Double Dragon a rating of four. It's a good fighting mechanic. It's got the zooming and zooming out of the auto. It's got the super power ups and you can do some authentic dragon style techniques inside. So it's a really good game and I, I actually do enjoy it. Now it's not the traditional Double Dragon, the side-scrolling beat-em-up. That actually would have been a really cool game to see on the Neo Geo to see how well this machine would have really taken this game to a whole nother level. It's unfortunate that we didn't get the side-scrolling style that we saw on Nintendo and Sega, but a fighting game version of Billy and Jimmy and the others is not too bad. And if you're interested in a more modern version of Double Dragon, I also did a Mission Neo Geo 
episode over Rage of the Dragons, which is basically an unofficial sequel to Double Dragon. The fighting mechanics is a little bit more polished and it gives that flair that Garo Mark of the Wolves had from Fatal Fury. So if you're interested in that, check that out in the, the playlist that I have for Mission Neo Geo. And collect and play the way you want to collect and play your games. We'll check you next time. Peace.